Okay, so this is day one. This is not grass, obviously, but I wanted to explain something. This is a um, climbing rose. When I got it, it was less than half of the first ring of this little item. It's already on. Yeah, it grew up too. Anyway, so here's the grass. It's still in the process of dying. Just got done raining. It's about exactly 24 hours since I've sprayed. I can't really tell much of anything. However, um, it is good that it did rain because uh, I do kind of want to stimulate a little bit of a growth. And it was a tad dry uh, because the growth process in the plant will help absorb the chemical a lot better. And it's been 70 degrees today, 68, perfect growing conditions, so the weather has been ideal to kill it off. As you can tell, it's really nothing much. The color might be a little bit different, but not much at all. Today is, let's see here, get my watch out, May 11th. Yep, exactly 24 hours ago, sprayed. So I'm going to be doing this for the next 10 days. See you tomorrow. Hey everyone, today is day two. There's Garage Puppy. Um, let's see, what time is it right now? Let me put my watch on on the other side here. 6.40, May 12th. So day two. Um, I've noticed it is getting a little wider, not much. Uh, certain areas are definitely a little more, but this is day two, so we have about eight more days. I'm expecting it to be getting brown probably on day five, but here is day two. Um, probably isn't much to show, but... So I think it's at least starting, and of course it's raining. Welcome to the Pacific Northwest. And yeah, here's the update. Hey everyone, hopefully the wind's not gonna get us, but this is day three, May 13th, the glyphosate application. Uh, areas are starting to show a little bit more yellowing than others. I can definitely say the size of Growing is basically stopped though. I, I don't think it's grown. Maybe even a quarter of an inch since the last time uh, I had mowed. So, looks like this is going to be the conclusion of day three, and I will see everyone on day four, and we'll uh, reconvene later. Hey everyone, I forget what day it is, like day four. They're all running together. It's just been a whole lot of rain, but. Um, not a whole lot is happening as you can tell, uh, it's definitely getting a little less colorful, it's, a, it's starting to get a lot more yellow, it's a little bit different time of day, tonight's going to be pretty nasty so I decided to use a little sunlight, it's about 12 or so, um, it's Thursday, I guess I would make it day 4, it's definitely yellowing, there are areas that you could tell are definitely starting to die. But yeah, so this is the last couple days. See everyone tomorrow. So, today is Friday night. It's about 7.30, a little dark, maybe a little later. And there, the crowns of certain parts of it are starting to turn uh, lighter brown and it most definitely has stopped growing. Um, usually by this point I would have mowed it at least by yesterday, preferably on Wednesday. So it stopped growing. When you walk on it, it's a little more crunchy, so that's good. I think with the cooler weather and wetter weather we've been experiencing lately, it's kind of putting a, kind of breaks on the actual drying out of the, the grass. 
but right now it's doing pretty good. So I will go ahead and see you guys tomorrow, Saturday. Okay, so this is Sunday. I didn't film anything yesterday because I was gone, but this is the result. This little area over here, definitely turning brown. Let's go over to the other side. And this is the other side. As you can tell, definitely some brownish. I'm sure if I were to mow this low, which I very well might do when it's a little nicer out, it would be almost completely light brown. Which is probably going to uh, be on day 10. I'm not going to actually spray again until day 14. But this is Sunday. So we still have another six days before I'm going to do that. Okay, see you all tomorrow. Okay, so it's Monday evening. Um, definitely some dieback. I think my main problem right now is the fact that it's been so wet. Yeah, it's just not drying out very thoroughly, but it's definitely stopped growing. I haven't mowed this in over a week, which is unheard of. So I'll go ahead and meet you guys back here uh, tomorrow evening. Okay, Tuesday night. Definitely looking a lot more dead. So that's nice may think about mowing it tomorrow just to see we're gonna get it nice and short just to see what it looks like underneath all this nonsense but uh, yeah. i will contemplate that to see everyone later bye okay so today is thursday there's garage dog um she upgraded today to garage dog instead of garage puppy she's been a pretty good pretty good little addition anyway so it is definitely brown even though it's raining it's definitely brown next stage of this is today's thursday i didn't record anything on wednesday unfortunately because um i was unavailable but um tomorrow i'm gonna do one more tomorrow's supposed to be nice this next coming week is supposed to be um pretty warm so Friday late Friday I'm gonna mow pretty low bag it and um, spray again yeah that's the same thing uh, make sure that you have uh, no pets no animals all that stuff I'll show a quick little video but we'll go over more over on a Saturday or maybe tomorrow I may do it either day but yeah this is it it's actually quite exciting it's very very dead the tops are still a little green but that's only because it just has got to dry out but the base is definitely dead the reason why I want to I'll leave that for tomorrow okay I'll see everyone later and say goodbye to garage dog what's up everyone I've been gone it's for Memorial Day. I've um, been out, so I haven't been able to do a lot. But as you can tell, this is Sunday before the holiday, so I forget what date it is, like 24th. I am going to be mowing this. As you can tell, it's the only thing is green is the tips. That's just because it's not very hot out. So, I'm going to be mowing this pretty low, probably the second low setting that I have on my sideboard. Um, that's from the front yard today. But I'm going to be putting it in the back. The reason why I'm doing this is I want to get rid of a lot of the dead stuff. That way I can, it's going to rain tomorrow, that's going to bring up some seeds, maybe start germinating. It's been raining pretty much this entire week, but um, today it's kind of been plenty of dry out, good time to mow. And those seeds are sprouting, I want to spray them tomorrow. A lot of these, <coughs> in this little area over here, be digging out the plants today. So, handful, maybe a dozen. I'm going to be leaving a couple of those flowers though, those are... Pretty nice. I think I'll leave them there. I like that rose bush. Anyway, and then spraying this entire section too.
get all the weed seeds out. That's really the key in this type of thing. You have to get all the weed seeds out. And I consider Poa a weed, and that's what a lot of this is. If you look at this, it's just nasty. There's not a single redeeming quality about it. So, here's a good before. Bear in mind, there's cardboard back there that's got a new heater put in and air conditioner, so I need to take care of that. But I'm going to be pretty much scalping this. So here's the before, and I'll bring you back for the after. Okay, all done. See Garage Puppy and whole assistants clearing out the back end of full blackberries, but you know, we need this little area first. But yeah, as you can tell, there's still little green patches. Those are the areas that did not die very well. Like that. So that's the reason why we're going to be doing two applications. Okay, so everything is done, cleaned, looks pretty good, garage dog. So now on Wednesday I'm going to respray everything because you can tell there's some green spots that didn't quite die off. And then that should be the end of the roundup usage. Um, probably more over there, probably there's definitely some places in the back that need to be cleaned out again. Uh, cleaned out a lot of the nasty area behind the house as well. As you can tell it's substantially lower. But yeah this part died pretty decently. There is definitely green sections that I must have missed when I was spraying or it could just be new growth occurring. Okay I will see everyone tomorrow. Okay so it's Memorial Day. Oh, I'm dead. Which is good. But the problem is, with the exception of Garage Puppy, um, there's still a little bit of green. As you can see, like this little strip, I must have completely forgot. A little bit over there. So tomorrow. Mm, maybe not tomorrow. Today was raining. So today was a good day for everything to kind of begin the process of germination. And so probably Wednesday, I'll spray everything 100% again. The weeds in there, everything. It's going to smell pretty bad, but another 10 days, I will pretty much guarantee myself everything's dead. Okay, so I will see everyone tomorrow. Okay, so this is Tuesday. As you can tell, everything's dry. Garage puppies having a field day with blank pots. And... There's just a variety of tiny little areas. I mean, nothing much. Just a little section over there I forgot to like spray. But the reason why I'm doing this, this is the day before I spray again. But as you can tell, there's a green spot right here. It's pretty pronounced. So this is going to be sprayed. Over there, there's a couple more. Um, those plants are living, which I about. So tomorrow we'll bring you back and we'll spray a little bit more and in 10 more days we'll be uh, ready to plant more seed, road hill and everything that comes along with that uh, little process. Okay, so today is May 29th. It's a Friday. It's about 85 degrees outside I want to say today. Right now it's probably like a good 75. It's a little windier than I would like it to be, but it seems to go in gusts. So 
gets to be too bad. I'm gonna have to stop. But so far, it should be okay. Um, I'm gonna be spraying anywhere I see green. I was gonna just do another blanket application, but there's a lot. I just don't feel like I need to, like this. Um, I obviously need to do that, I mean. But over here, it really isn't a lot. I will be doing a lot more of a blanket. Well, not necessarily a blanket, but I'll be doing a lot more of like a real thin blanket. I'm not gonna be doing as well as I did last time, covering every bit. But as you can tell, there has been a couple items growing. I think that's like a, some oak or maple. Another one right there. Um, which is fairly common for right now. But I'm going to spray it, spray the little side areas except for the plants I want to keep. See, now it's completely clear and no wind. Yet again, same thing as before um, PPE, pants, face mask, goggles. You do not want to inhale this, you do not want this in touch with your skin. Over here, and the bugs are thick today. Um, same thing as before, four gallons, 41% glyphosate mixture. It's enough to do about 3,600 square feet based on the mixture I put in there. 3,600 square feet is going to take me a couple minutes in that sprayer to get over, so it's not going to take very long at all. And according to the instructions, I can wait up to a week. Well, I should wait up to a week before replanting. I'm going to do even longer than that. I'm probably going to be doing two weeks just to make sure. Um, tomorrow's going to be a little cooler, so that should be okay. Um, but then after that, it should be getting kind of warm again. So it's going to get dry. It's going to die. Hopefully a lot of the seeds will just be dead. I won't have to worry about it. Um, but yeah, I'm going to spray a little bit more over here the little intersections and the reason why I'm doing this like I said I'm just gonna want to clear everything that hasn't already been killed before just to give myself as much of a clean slate as I can dogs same thing don't have them outside cats pet sheep whatever you have don't have them outside for at least two days at least not here then after this I'm going to be rototilling and bringing in a couple yards of sand and gravel, redoing this little area over here and this little area over there. And putting some pavers in would be nice. But the first step is to get rid of this grass because it's pretty nasty. Okay, so I'm gonna go ahead and spray. And same, I mean, you don't need to see that, it's not that hard to spray. I will go over what I'm gonna do though. Um, Walking in a straight line, broad, uh, uh, broad, what's the word I'm thinking of? I'm just going to be using a very broad stance and spraying as much as I can. It's not going to be as thorough, like I said, as before, and I, that's okay. But when I are, where I do see green, I'm definitely going to be hitting pretty good. Um, and then in the back there, I'm probably going to be spraying a little bit more because I didn't quite get as far as I thought as I would like to actually, but that's fine. I have it cleared out at least. Okay, so the next time you see this backyard, it'll probably be me rototilling it in about two weeks. Uh, you saw the progression that's made. It's been about almost exactly two weeks now, and this is the result. So. Not too bad. Um, but yeah, I'm gonna go ahead and get that started. If you have any questions, likes, comments, concerns, um, definitely leave them below. If you have any questions, make sure to watch my part one of this as well. It kind of goes over more of the spray and then the flow rates and everything. I'm not gonna go over that again. Um, but yeah, I will see everyone later. Have a good rest of your night. Definitely subscribe. Bye.